Today I'm going to show you how your door or window sensors can work with home automation system to make it more interactive. Look at this. Kitchen door open. How cool is it? Kitchen door closed. In one of my previous video, I already explained about uh, motion sensor where we actually um, explore the whole possibilities of using this kind of sensor. So I will leave this on one side. If you haven't watched my that video yet, link is in the description. You can go back and see um, the uses of motion sensor. And the one in particular which we're going to discuss today is um, the contact breaker. So these are normally used with the windows or doors every time you open the door it sends the signals to the central station so let's see what exactly is in the box so this is um snzb04 wireless door window sensor uh, the description is at the back as well so uh, here we go right in the box on opening the box um Few things came out the very first one is qc pass card which is basically from the manufacturer the second one is a contact breaker sensor itself which is in two parts a base unit and a mobile unit or you can see the the, the unit which you put on the door itself and then uh, adhesive tape uh, to stick your sensors um, to wherever you want to stick it to and the last one is um, a user manual again which is not very user friendly you can get the basic information but it's not very helpful let's move to the next stage what well, i have noticed recently the son of um, products have gone very tiny and compact which is a good thing because it's hard to see them when actually they are on the door or window so today the one which we're gonna use is a son of um, contact sensor model number SNZB04 and it operates on CR2032 3 volt battery and um, on the one side of the compact sensor there's a serial number and on the another side there's a small tiny hole which is actually is actually a reset button if you put the pin in you can reset the device to pair it with your existing automation, automation system, system. Also, there are two notches on the two opposite sides of the unit, uh, which are basically you put the screwdriver in to open the unit. Five minutes later. There we go. Once you open it, there is a battery security protector. You take it out. Now, uh, the battery is in contact with the internal circuit and your unit should go live from there. To reset the device, as I mentioned, there's a small tiny hole. If you put the small pin in this tiny hole and press down the pin, your indicator should blink to show you that your device is here we go. Now your device is in the pairing mode and you, all you need to do is just go on your mobile app, whichever the app you're using to initialize this device to your existing home automation system. To keep it simple and easy, I'm gonna use the standard Alexa app installed on the phone. Once your Alexa device is in the discovery mode, it will try to search the newly installed um, items. So as you can see on my screen, it's showing one contact sensor discovered. So this is the new device which Alexa has found, which can also be found in old devices list. Once you go in the old devices list, you can see the newly discovered device in here as well. As you can see on my screen, I go all the old devices already there and the new one which is first contact sensor. This you can rename to anything which is convenient to you but i will leave it as it is to make it more understandable next step is you need to press the more button on the alexa app to go to the routine section of the alexa app in simple words uh, routines are nothing i can say it's a set of programs which instruct the alexa to perform a particular task when something happens in your home automation system Moving to the next stage where 
you need to create a new routine all you need to do is once you click the routine you enter the new routine name and then you enter when this happens so basically i put that as a action so you need to put on this action this should be the reactions so enter routine name what happens and what do you want the alexa to do and what i have done is i made two um, routines one is when the door opens and when is the door closes which is very simple oh, and you can see the example on the next screen this is where exactly i have placed the sensors base sensor on the frame and the small tiny mobile sensor on the door itself and once everything is set up correctly this is how your automation system will work you open the door kitchen side door opened and then when you shut the door kitchen side door closed